and we are live. I took a long L break, break from the streaming over Christmas, so we're going to jump back in. So expect me to be a little bit rusty. Um, yeah, let's see what we're going to be building today. Let's see if I can share my screen now. Let's hope I don't have to stop things. Uh, share that entire screen. Can I? Oh, I can. Super VIP, Paul. Super VIP. That's the main thing. And yes. So we are going to be, let me zoom in on this, show you kind of an idea of what I'm playing around with. Since glass morphism or whatever the heck you call it at the moment is kind of all the trend, we're going to do some real nice gradients and things. Uh, I haven't really had a personal site for years and I have been missing out on, you know, collecting some newsletters so I can post people my updates and give links to things. And I'm usually just giving people out links to everywhere. So I want a central hub to keep everything together. So yesterday I started getting some designs working with my designer and this is what we came up with. I really like this glass morph stuff. I'm probably saying the word wrong, but yeah, I think it's a design trend and we're going to try with it. So yeah, let's see. Oh, I forgot I am live on LinkedIn as well. I better ch open that because I will forget about the chat there or something and you know people might message me i doubt it we'll see yeah fine perfect i'll take that i'm guessing you're talking about me and my yellow t-shirt that's the trendy thing you're talking about paul we'll see easy just get a business <laughs> that's all you can do Ruben and right so we have this I am going to do just so I'm not going to be playing around with loads of the fetching MD files and everything like that I'm probably going to use something similar to what I was using for my business site which is this for sale next to yes they have their own starter sets for example so if I open this in a new tab You have this blog right there. An NX workspace. What is an NX workspace, Fintan? Hmm. NX workspace. Oh, they are, is that like a learner monorepo, isn't it? Sorry, that's why I, I bet you that's what it is. I'm just going to make sure. NX workspace. Yes, monorepos. For sure, that's exactly what I, I was thinking. I use Lerna when I'm using uh, building with monorepos. So I haven't actually played around with NX yet, but I knew I heard of it somewhere. Uh, excellent. Right, let's see. So like, this is a good starting point. It's nowhere, no, like I'm gonna literally get into this, delete loads of it and keep some of it. Um, so we'll see what happens then. And then we will be good to go. And yeah, if you have any questions, just throw them into the chat. Say hello. Let's have some fun. I have some Friday juice to keep me going. And it should be good. Let's see. We have that. Schematics for quickly scaffolding. I'm going to really have to look at this after, Finton. I haven't used it. That's really interesting. And hello, Anthony. Oh, rubbish at designing stuff and at CSS2. Use to borrow and seal. I did the same. I went to Dribble and I said, sat down with my designer and I said, hey, I really like this side on Dribble and I really like this side on Dribble and I really like these things. And then all of a sudden I had something like this and I just went along and kind of edited some of it to be more my style or more my taste. Uh, just the final few bits. 
and I am super like I, I'm a big fan of Lerna, so that's uh, really interesting to me. I'm I'm super, I'm going to definitely check that NX out after that. Probably check you'll probably see some videos on it after I learn it because that's that's usually the fun way to learn these things. All right, let's jump into the terminal because we're going to need to bootstrap a new site. What do we do here to get a new site? npx create blog starter. So I'm going to cd into my projects, cd into code, do I guess? Right, no, I'll go on a cd into YouTube. I'm just thinking of my own folders. Where will I remember to look at this stuff? Um, and git clone, or yeah, no, it's just this. MPX rod starter, and we'll call this mile Joe Mar. Let's see how that goes. What is Lerna? Lerna is a mono repo of sorts. So it lets you kind of build packages out of pieces of your code and link all the dependencies in the base or the root of your fo uh, app. So you don't have to like NPM install into multiple packages. You can share dependencies. That's really nice because then you know all your packages can be nicely upgraded to, to different packages, versions, and things like that. I just find it super useful. So. Big fan of that. Oh, that's that's a nuisance, Ruben. We'll have to have a look at NX even more. All right, let's CD into now, Joe Mar, and let's say code and see what we've got. So I've just changed up things. Uh, handstands, Brendan, uh, that's the secret. If you do handstands long enough, the blood flows to your face and then it just starts pumping out hair. It's definitely science and not just something I'm making up on the spot, for sure. Oh, and we've got YouTube royalty here. Jesse's in the house as well. Hey, thanks for checking in, Jesse. Uh, let's see what we have in here. We are going to try very quickly to get rid of Tailwind. So I am going to, will this break if I just get rid of it? Probably. I can't remember the last day did it break it. So let's just see where it's importing that. Import index of CSS. No, that's my root CSS. Um, let's see. Do uh do you mostly use Spanish for your YouTube videos? I've never done a Spanish video video in my life, but that's hilarious. <laughs> I'd like to tell people I'm fluent in Spanish. I know about six words. I just say mucho C si, all over and over again. That's my only statement. All right, so I think I can just delete. No, actually, because then all my Tailwind classes will just be weird. That's not a, a bad shout, though, either, Paul. So I could just leave it soaking, Guinness. All right. So let's just jump into the app. Let's get this running. I'll zoom in because it looks a bit small. And uh, let's get something pumped out here. See where we go. I should speak Spanish, Ruben, since I live with a Spanish lady. Um, so it's an absolute crime that I don't. Now, let's have a look at this. OK, 
Okay, we're up and running. That's a start. Easy, done. We have a blog. <laughs> well, like what this saves me doing is it has all of the blogs kind of linked up and ready to go. So I should be able to click it and I should go to it. Yeah, perfect. Generate it there. So now we are going to start dismantling what's in it just so we have our own styles on things. So if we go to the index, what do we have? We have the title. So this is going to be Niles site or welcome to my site. Uh, I should be able to spell my own name, shouldn't I? And I did not know that, that you did, uh, that you did Sp Spanish content as well. I was joking, trying to get you Spanish help. I thought you just badly translated it or something. Uh, in the intro or in the container, what do we need in here? We'll go into the hero post and see what's in here. All right, we're just going to start ripping out, I think, pretty much everything to a certain extent. So what I am going to keep is the shape of the data that's coming in because that will be helpful in a little while. And yeah, just markdown for now. Uh, I think next week what I'll do is I'll put a strappy instance on Heroku because I've done that for another site and it's pretty, pretty good. Oh, I have a question here from LinkedIn actually. So, is this the Ask an Expert series? No, we, I actually did a session earlier on with Ireland Together. So, if you want to get in on that for the next one, just go and join uh, Ireland Together. I think they have the links there. I'll also find out for next week, because I am doing it every Friday for the next few weeks. Um, I, I'll try and find a link that I can share out as well. But I'm not sure if it's just inside Ireland Together. But join Ireland Together. It's free. It's a great community. Bring it. Bring it on in. Ooh, Pravit's here. You've been quiet. Okay, let's let's focus a little. I need to focus. Let's see how we're gonna get this. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go off on this a little. Need uh, just a little bit of thinking juice. Just to keep things going. Happy Friday. <laughs> Good man, Paul. <laughs> yeah, it's me following. I have somebody with a, I have a walkie talkie or an earpiece in and they tell me all the answers. So let's have a look at the page. So we have the page app.js index.js, hero post, container, more stories. So what we're going to do then is, I'm just going to get rid of that. Let's get rid of pretty much everything here, I think. And we will be back. Oh, we still have an alert. Where's that alert coming from? Is that my layout? Go to my layout. Yeah, I do have that. Let's get rid of that. And I do not want us here because I'm removing Tailwind in a second. And index CSS. I'm going to just drop in some of my own CSS from the last project I was doing because it would be a waste of time if I just started handwriting out. Because we all, like when I'm starting things, I never start from scratch. I always end up copy and pasting from my last project because why not? So what I'm going to do is bring in everything. I'm just here copying off the side, bring in all the bits and pieces that I might need as my root of stuff. And let's just see if everything still works. Beautiful. 
looks absolutely awful right now. So we will have to get some colors and style in here. But it, it, it's something, isn't it? So that's all we can do. I don't know what SpongeBob. What SpongeBob episode um, are are we doing right now? Right. So where are we at on this? Um, we're going to get our colors, I'd say, signed up because I have my old Kodu kind of colors in here, and they're definitely not the colors I'm going to use for this. I might ch change these things to a bit of a shade of pink uh, because I like it. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is open this here so I can swipe across and see it. Um, I can't remember the shortcut to do this, so I'll just do it the old fashioned way. Okay. No, it's actually this where I want it. Now I have that there. I have this here. We can preview, we can see. So let's let's see what this is going to look like now. We are going to start by the background. What is the background color on this stuff anyway? Because I might as well get that in first. If I could click anything, why is nothing working? Okay, two, 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 two. That is my background. Um, good question. Hold on. One. Taking out retainers I have, getting my teeth straightened at the moment, so I can't have them in while I'm drinking a couple of beers. Um. So I'm looking forward to doing these. Let's get the this start now. So what we need is FFF or two 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 is the background here, isn't it? So that's my black, really. I am working on it, and there is a lot of information going into that at the moment. I'm do, trying to get a crash course in a two hour crash course on Next.js. It's just trying to whittle it down into like a beginner friendly section. And how did you do those lower thirds? Which lower thirds? And let me being told the music is high, so. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. Just lower the music slightly. Let's see this. Right, we're going to now we can continue doing this. So black is two 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 two. Change that. Let's get that into our dock background, which is going to be far black ground and our uh, fonts are going to be Montserrat. Perfect. So where is my text color? Where is that? Bum, bum, bum. Let's go up. And that is now going to be white because it will look weird if it's not. But things aren't changing yet. Oh, I notice my select is still purple. Let me get my other colors that are in this document just to be set up. What is... Uh, let's see, what colors are in here? We have a pink and an orange. 
what pink is what is this orange throw in actually i do have a pink anyway so Call this one orange. This is going to break things because there's things depending on that blue. So I better not actually change that. So let's say orange. And then I will say whatever is this pink color. Oh, did that backwards. This is this. This is this. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we're using StreamYard. Thanks, Praveen. So I am going to use Grid. Um, they, they have Tailwind in this, but I'm probably not going to use Tailwind because I'm not too familiar with it. And I don't know just... You end up just watching me play around with the Tailwind docks for two hours. So that's all. Now let's have a look. We have that and. And our text color is white. Page color is white as well. I should fix my issue there. And let's see, that should be a Montserrat. So I don't think I have Montserrat on this yet. Uh, so let's go to Google fonts. Montserrat. No, I don't want to download it. I want to just use it. How do I just use this font? Okay, just select all, can I? So we'll just select all, I think. Do I have this already in another thing? Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to select all. I'll undo whatever I don't need. It's going to be way too hefty right now, but what I'll do at the end of the project is any fonts I don't use, I'll just remove. There should be a select all. I'm probably doing this in a very slow, clumbersome way. So. So I would just pick them, but I have no idea. I can't remember what I did for my designs. So I'll just add them all in and then remove them and add them back in. I know it's just to speed things up here because I don't want to have to be fighting with it the whole way. Um, clumber some of I know, but it's worth it when it's all done. And we can import. We'll just throw this in here as well. What do we have? Favicons, everything's in here. I forgot what's in here. Oh, uh, what do we have? F RSS feed.xml and everything. A bit of everything in here, isn't there? Is there any CSS in here? Hmm. Nope. Let's just throw this in here then. Ah, okay. Yeah, because it's... It's, uh, what do we call it? Oh, look at this. Danny is in the house. Danny, you should stream to LinkedIn as well. I'm surprised you don't do that. Um, why is that? What have I broken here now? Uh, it's probably just... This. That. 
We'll say boom. That's two HRF. That won't work. Anyway. Inspect to see if we actually got the fonts that we expected. Because I can't tell by eye. Yeah, it's once for that now. Worked. Anyway, let's figure out why I, I, that confused me so much in a little while. It's always those setup things that confuse me. Oh, yes, that'd be perfect for LinkedIn, Danny. You definitely should do that. If anyone hasn't seen, if you're job hunting, check out Danny Thompson's channel for his LinkedIn videos. They're phenomenal for getting your LinkedIn profile up to spec. Really good. Um, Danny's getting helping people get jobs left, right, and center here. So, okay, we have that. We have that. We might as well work in getting... Um, we might as well get some... Um, what do we want to get? We want to get some text from this to start changing in. Bum, bum, bum. What does my text say currently? Static, statically generated. Okay, this is our intro. We might as well hack this a little bit. Let's get this. Get rid of this. Let's get rid of this because I do not want it. I must not be using this at all anyway. Maybe that's... Hmm. That's something frozen. Or crashed or something. Why is this? Read documentation. Oh, that'll be footer. That's exactly what it is. Get rid of stuff. Okay, I have a completely blank canvas. After all that boilerplate installation, I have nothing. So, oh, Tesh, welcome. You said it, Ruben. Too much royalty around. Come up and stealing all my things. They're probably streaming. They're like, come over. There's real people streaming. I was going to say the same. You got there first. <laughs> so we got a really, really slick site here now. All right, Fenton. Um, so what we're going to do is ignore that. And let's get out of that. And let's go back in and let's create a new folder. Actually, I do this. And I know it might not be what we call in industry best practices, but I just like to do it to hold things together. I'm going to create a new folder called sections. And that is going to be the sections of my website. And in here, I'm going to put index.js to export everything. In here, I will make an intro. And in here, we'll say intro.js, export default function intro. Oh, yeah, if I could spell turn.
And now we will have something. And we will also need some styling for this. So let's say a new file. Yeah, how are we going to do the global styles? I'll figure that out in a second. Let's get to some text on this for section wise. So we'll say new file intro.module.css and import import style isn't it import style from is that how you do it i just need to double check because it's been a couple of weeks since i've written some some of this stuff so i need to refresh my memory on how we even bring in these modules let's find out this is the easiest way to do it is just bash it again and we will be fine Intro JS import style from module.css. Ah, oh, they're all coming in from LinkedIn. Nice. Yeah, interesting. That's uh, curious, to be fair. Nice to see you, James. Great to have you, on, uh, have you here as well. So, yeah. Where uh, I'm here looking at. Um, what am I looking for? Right, let's just plow on. Yeah, styles. Styles from module.css, and then we'll just say, uh, actually, we're gonna put let's put this into a container because we're gonna style this in a second anyway. So, I don't know why I am, um, or actually, section let's be semantic and add this here. And we can say, class name is equal to styles dot intro or container we don't even need that let's just put that as the container boom and in here our container is going to be a display flex flex or uh, align items center and we also want it in the middle as well so Justify content center, and we're going to say min height right now is going to be what we'll does say 80 vh vh for the moment, and that should fix some of it. I am on YouTube, James, so you can jump on with me if you want. I'm here. Oh, that's, that's, under, that's a tough, Praveen, but don't worry. My good guy, very talented. He'll be fine. Uh, Liam, I'm going to get to your question in a second. Uh, what is the theme? It is Synthwave 84. It's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a really good team. You can actually activate Neon on it. I won't do it now because it gets obnoxious. Oh, please don't. I need uh, the views. So YouTube notices me. Please notice me, YouTube. <laughs> Uh, and Leem, you are, I'm going to answer this as I'm setting, changing things. Don't know why your picture's broken, but, uh, story. I love that. that. That's a very Irish way. So for anyone that doesn't know, we put H's everywhere for the sake of it. Discovered you very recently, love your work. Great. Thank you very much. 
As a fellow Irish, do you reckon there's enough business to chase in Ireland as a freelance, self-employed dev? Or is it needed to chase overseas for work? There is tons of work in Ireland. And in fact, Liam, I am going to be doing some videos soon on tips about getting freelancing work. And they are directly from my experience on working with uh, clients here in Dublin. Most of my customers have been in Dublin. So yeah, definitely. It's, it's, there's so many different ways. So reach out on LinkedIn as well. We can have a chat or Twitter or wherever you found me. Just reach out and we'll sort that. Uh, what am I going? I have to just change a setting on this. I just noticed something on my settings that I have to change. So give me two seconds. Just want to make sure everything is running as I expected. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you, Tej. We've been seeing Praveen in the, the chat. We know how good he is. He'll be great. Anuga, I hope I am pronouncing your name correctly. That's... We'll just wave to you as well. Hello. And yeah, start freelancing. It's great fun as well. Carl Prinsloo, check him out. He's really good for all the freelancing knowledge. And... When I started, oh, I got some awful rejections. I've told this story a few times, but my first couple of rejections, like I remember one of the rejections I got when I was getting into this industry and I was applying for mid-level jobs after building a few websites, freelancing and things, was I wouldn't even consider you as a junior developer. There's no need to say that, but they said it anyway. And I was heartbroken because I was like, oh, I'm really good at this. Um export the uh, default as intro I'm not used to typing and standing so I have to look to see where my fingers are every so often uh, default as intro from intro slash intro and now we can go into our index.js and we'll say Import in pro from actions. And we might actually finally see something on the screen, which would be about time, wouldn't it? Ah, we, we, we just want this self-closing, don't we? Oh, jeez. I am all over the place today. It's been a long old day. Uh, intro from sections doesn't exist. So I screwed up my import. Yeah, link up with me. I'm always happy to help. Look, um, if I don't reply straight away, I am always busy. And I I do tend to get back to everyone eventually as well. It's, you, it could take a few days, but I'll get there. Ruben, get back into the YouTube chat. Stop your messing. That's a, you're, uh, you're just trying to wind me up, I think, as well. <laughs> Have you in two places. Uh, index ah uh, okay so index I'm just not typing the right lines from sections intro ah you're, you're seeing this better than me from from sections no there should be sections should have ah it doesn't does it If 
Well, that brings me to there. Why is this not working? Sections. Yeah, it's getting the index. If I spelled this wrong or something. So I thought I could import from here. Intro. Intro. Hmm. Let's just bring in to make sure I didn't mess this up. So let's say sections. Intro. Intro. I definitely did something wrong, but okay. So intro, import intro from sections. Let me just take this again. So, boom, let's just try this again. So, why everything's just giving it having a fit now? Okay. So I have folder called sections and I have an index. And it's not finding it. Why is it not finding it? That is so bizarre. From sections. I'm gonna try something. Let's just start it again. Sometimes. I uh, will take me a lot more. Okay. So what does uh, this mean? So basically what I tend to do is in the root of my sections and components, I tend to just... Uh, Intro.js is export default. So this is default export. But... Hmm. Export default as intro, and it's picking that up because it's finding that intro intro default is the JS element, so it's getting it. So this is saying get the default thing and name it as intro, so I can import it as intro. Because Next.js likes you to default things export or export things default in components for some optimization reasons, and that's why I did it that way. But for some reason, it's deciding. It doesn't like that. But this is all the fun in hacking. So how do I manage time? I get up at about half six every day, do some stuff before work, work on business and all that stuff from say nine till five or six. And then after hours, I do bits and pieces, same as weekends. I just have to make time for things. All right, I've definitely messed up something here. So, intro from sections.index. Oh, why am I even saying this from sections? I must not be exporting something right, right here. Uh, import intro. Okay, so that doesn't find that. This is very bizarre. Yeah, in here though, uh, Praveen, it is a named export. It's 
export I'm exporting as intro from here. So that's an object thing. So in here, I would have to do that. Um, it's slightly different. So if this wasn't an object or destructured out, I'm importing this as something. Export intro as a variable. So that's why I have to export it. This file will have lots of different things in it. But it's, you can see now, even what I'm doing for the intro, intro, it's not picking things up. So let's have a look. Export default intro. This is bizarre to me. Could be the watcher not picking up new files, but it doesn't make sense to me. Because I've done this plenty of times. I never ended up like this. Ah, uh, we will figure it out. It's not a big thing. Function intro, export default intro. Right, so that's the same thing. I'm just going in circles then. Just give me in here. Ah, oh, look at this. If I read the error. Oh, I'm... I am so stupid. This is what, this is what you get for not reading errors, people. Now I know what's wrong. Okay, and we'll take that. And if we go up here and delete this. No. Oh. Compile successfully. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, yeah. So what happened was because I had an intro here, let's delete all this stuff to make sure I don't do something like that again. That was a naming issue. I did not read the error. And here's an example of if we just read the console, it told me exactly what I did wrong. And I just didn't. <laughs> yes. Yes, thank you, Mohan. I needed that. I need the confetti. Bring it all in. I deserve it. Huzzah. <laughs> right. So now we can hopefully make some more progress than one line of text. So we are going to say... Uh, so what we need to do is da, 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 web. I'm going to format this so it looks somewhat similar. So in our intro, we have this. And for now, Class name, and we'll say equals styles dot header. Styles dot title, we'll call that. Copy that. Go into here. No, that's not what I wanted. I don't know what I'm after doing there. Anyway, don't ignore that. Close that preview. Da -da -da. X, align, center. Do I have to do this? And then my line height has to be different as well. So we'll say line height is going to be So let's let's explain this one just so people get why I, that confuses people. What I do, so in what I do is in each folder. So if I'm in like a components folder and I have loads of components, so instead of having to say import alert from alert, import avatar from avatar, import container from container, I like to just have in the root file one index.js 
say here, and I will say export all of them as named objects. So what I'll do is when I put them into this, we're saying this is an object now. So we're exporting default as intro. So this is the alias for the default of this file. And if I did this and I could say la, I can also import um, done. Let's just comment this out for a second so it doesn't break. So I can also then uh, da, da, da. I can also import la as you see. Put that in. So I can name it whatever. And we have the two components which are the same. So Pretty useful, I think. Let's get rid of that because that'll break things down in a minute. And I'll be wondering what's going on. So we'll have intro index CSS. Let's get rid of that because I don't want that. Intro save. And we will say h2 for this section is going to be plus okay that's a different thing other random stuff Nice, so that is because it's going in a row. So we need this to be in a column for it to work as expected. So we'll go into this and I will say flex direction column done. Nice. So what we need to do then is this one's going to be a special subtask and that's going to be fine. We'll be able to figure it out in a second. I'm not too sure what you meant there, Finton. Uh, I think it's because I haven't had enough yet, Paul, if you ask me, but that's I might be biased. Who knows? Okay. But I do want to just try, just for, let's have a look. Uh, I need to share this, somebody's asking me for a link to something. Works of always being on. Second, all right, that's shared. I don't need to, right? So, we have that. What I want then is I'll have to go back in to my design. Let's see what we have here. So, we have this the line height here. Is there a line height somewhere? Where the hell is the line height on this? Line height is 150%. So I'm going to put that on the. What am I going to do? I'm going to say we'll put a line height. Let's put this as 60 and see what happens. That's better. A little more space. And then for this one particular subtitle, we'll change things up a little bit. So because I don't see me using anything other than this one as a subtitle. Uh, 
And what will we do? Yeah, we're gonna just... Where's my details here? We're gonna... What's this? This is a light font. I might even make this a little P, because it's like, it doesn't really matter. And yeah, we'll call it a paragraph, and we'll give it a font weight that is Montserrat regular 24. Sub title. We'll say text color is going to be var gray. What we'll do is we'll add in this variable to make sure it's there. So what is my gray? My gray is df, df, df. So that is not what we want now. And we'll look for the P. And we'll say text color is going to be gray then. Perfect. That should work as I expected then. So we will change that up here. Class name equals styles dot sub title. I think I have messed up something in my style import because nothing, no, the container's working, so that should be fine. Let's, all the problems. I've been working React Native all the last three weeks. So now that I jump back into this, I'm just like, huh, how do I do that thing in Next.js again? So, Save that, for a gray. Oh, okay, um, this again, this is just me being silly. I'm here targeting it as if it's a P. Let's do this, P. Put some random stuff. Yeah, that's, that's why that didn't work. And we will say, what font size is Yeah, so I'm going to try to be semantic because I will use this for like, a, this is going to be the start of my blog as such. Um, we will be doing the Kodu community site directly after I finish this. I just want to test out some stuff as my personal site as a guinea pig. And then I will be looking for writers and everything else and open source contributors to help me build the Kodu community form. So we're going to try and have some forms. We're going to have blog posts. We're going to just make a real good uh, attempt at building some nice, pretty things with Kodu community, and that be helpful for other developers. So, what font size is that? That's 24. I'm going to font size. So we can say P is equal to So, Fintan, if you haven't joined our Discord, you definitely should because that fun will kick off soon enough. And, you know, support local and all that. P is going to be H2 or VAR. Let's try H3. Oh, 
What I think I'll do, I know this might be ugly for the moment, but I'm just doing it just so we can make some progress. Margin, top, minus 20 pixels for the moment. And if it works, great. That's ugly. I do not like that. No, I, I prefer the old way. Let's go line it height. Blah. That's fine then. Um, okay, so plus some random stuff. Now we need to... What, I, what I'm going to do, actually, because I, I, I really just want to try it. And that is... We want to add in some of the the kind of the, the real things I want to try and to show at least so people get some knowledge from this section is I want to try and figure out how to do these kind of faded circles so for this section there's two so I'm going to use a before and after to build these as things so we'll say on the container dot container Before, and we'll say content is going to be blah. We'll say what size are those circles for the moment? 130, 400. Okay, so we'll say height 400 pixels. I'm going to probably change these to a percentage, actually. So let's say, how big is the page? How wide is this? Well, I just can't click on anything. I'll just wing it. We'll say height 10% with 10% position absolute. And we'll say left zero, or we'll say minus. 5%, uh, border, 2 pixels solid red, so we can see what's going on. Look at that. We have magic. Okay, so we're definitely going to need a bigger. So... That's... Zero. What's that? Ah, okay, yeah. So that doesn't work. So it's a uh, ten view width. That would have to go, isn't it? Ten view width and ten view width to make an actual square. And that's too small, so we'll say. way better minus 10 width okay we're getting we're getting somewhere here i know it might not look like that but we are getting somewhere that i wanted to get to so what we want to do is get this fancy gradient and i'm gonna might i'm probably gonna have to do the look at the mozilla docs to get this but this is where i'm trying to get to so what we have to do is add in a linear, is it a linear gradient? What is it? It is radial gradient. Sorry, I have it here. Let me, let me bring up this. Google and this is, a, it's no fun when you can't see. So we're going to try this radial gradient in here because that looks like what we kind of need so let's do radial gradient or background isn't it background radio radial gradient so 
So what I think I can do is can I add another color here? I'm just uh, uh I'm just testing this. Usually these things you can give them more more than one thing. So what happens if I get a var black? Okay, so that fades out as expected. So I could say var pink var orange. Okay, that's way more intense than I wanted it. Look at this! Kevin, you were doing a long L stream earlier today. I'm surprised you're still alive. <laughs> Stop your work. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kevin will appreciate this messing. Uh, he'll probably give me some advice on how to do this as well. The CSS master himself, perfect timing. Because um, what I'm trying to get is this nice radial gradient in here. And what we'll do is get rid of this. But you do it the same color. Yeah, so what what is this? This is a linear top to bottom, so it will probably look weird anyway. So I think I maybe will just keep keep it um var orange maybe. And I need to probably make a Oh that looks awful. <laughs> So, let's see, how do I do that? I have to say, no, that's okay. I can, I'll have to use JHSL. So I need to blur that to get the edges right. So Hmm. No, I have the docs here. I'm going to open it back up the docs here and see if it helps me. So, radial gradient. So uh, do I just need to, I probably just need to add in probably a couple more of these then. This is probably real hackery in the sense of, yeah, that actually works then, yeah. It's exactly what I needed. So take border radius off, then that. Oh, Kevin, absolute hero. So that sort of looks like what I wanted. So I do that. Um, what will happen when I put pink in here now again? That's pretty cool. That looks pretty slick. I might reverse it so it's... Yeah, I like that kind of glow there. That looks great. Yeah, I should definitely use a percentage. I'll figure it out because you can you you just add a second property for a percentage, is it? So I've done this with box shadows and things and linear gradients. I was using linear gradients on the last one. So I should ah yeah, look. Circle at 100%, 50%, 75%, EE 75%. So I can just change this to be Black. I already forgot what I was saying. Black. 
40 percent mess around with this 60 yes I think 60 might be the winner there and what I can just do then is say 30 30 and minus 17 Now it gives me a nice glow. So that's one. Um, we can say top is going to be 200 pixels just to throw it off for a second. Minus 200 pixels. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's a much, much lighter blemish. I will have to use an RGBA, but it's a start. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that left the way it is, or the top there. And then we'll say container four, we'll do the same after. We can say right. On top, it's gonna to be minus one pixels. I'm glad Kevin came. <laughs> that could have taken me a while if I didn't realize I could have used percentages. And nice. Okay, so let's add in more top. No, that's too much. Nice. So that's a pretty solid start. That's going to move around now as soon as I add in my input because of the, the way I have that container set out. But we'll play around with that. As I said, it's just more for that, that I guess it's more like an RGBA version of this I want to make it like smoother. Or I might just add on some glossy finish to it. We'll see. There you go, Kevin. You're getting all the lads excited here. <laughs> my milkshake brings... Oh, if this is my milkshake. Great. So, we have... That, what is next? We are going to, I'll figure out how to do these because this is going to be cool. I'm going to have to do some research on this. and I don't want to bore everyone with this. I want to get the kind of shape of things this evening. So I just want to kind of get the input and maybe a grid of articles in. And I might do some more over the weekend just to get this knocked out really fast and edit it on the fly when I can. So. We need an input here. And and what is my board radius and stuff on that? Ninety height is fifty five. How wide should this be, I wonder? Uh, we'll call this input container, actually, because I'm going to use this to wrap everything. Border radius, 50%. Pack this stuff. And we will add a div into this.
No, it's not even. Let's uh, input. Is that how an input works again? I love where I'm forgetting these simple things now, but we'll put this up button anywhere. Uh, sign, subscribe. I'm surprised I've gotten this far. So I got up at 3 a.m. this morning to um, bring a friend to the airport. So I am definitely not in my peak performance mode. So <laughs> let's uh, fix that. So we have this massive weird gradient that we don't want, I guess, for now. So let's jump back into our index CSS and delete. Background is going to be background is not going to be white. It's going to be light gray. Nice. And we will add a, a class name to that button just to make sure it works. And we're going to make these elements f uh, flex in a minute when we pick a width for it. But we're getting there. Like I said, it's slow, steady progress. But we are going to get there. So what do we need to do? We need to, this is a width of, because I'm going to make this a certain width and this a flex grow so it takes up the rest of the width just make things a little bit easier for me and i think what i'll do is i'll end up putting a width on the whole container because that way it will automatically bring this down to where i wanted it anyway so we will jump back over to the intro css um i can just do that We will then, what am I doing? We're going to say class name, I'll start. Button, real sharp naming conventions going on here. Everyone's very quiet in the chat. I just getting tired on a Friday evening after all. Okay, let's put this in. Border radius. So do I. I didn't realize there was these top left radius. Does that work? Nice. So I can just do border bottom right radius. Zero. I did not know those properties were there. That's fantastic. Oof. No bottom uh, left. Nice. So then the dot input. I had to do all my accounting last weekend and I am so thankful that my partner, she, uh, I just end up crying at my desk for long enough that she comes and saves the day and it's just like, just stop being a child <laughs> and takes it off me and helps me out. Um, okay, so the input is going to be, I think this is a once off. Well, no, actually all our inputs will be somewhat the same, but let's go into this first and get our in here. Oh, that's the wrong thing for one. Input, Praveen, it's Saturday for you. 
You are up late. Late night, late night. Right, we have that text area, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll just style it and figure out afterwards how to bring it back into that because we'll probably need it again. So input is going to be, we'll say width is going to be 500 pixels for the moment just so I can test things. Play flex. Right. Let's grow one. Is that a thing? Or am I just making things up? How do I do flex grow again? Flex fill item. Actually, what I want to do is make sure I haven't messed up something here. Is in here, I will say the usual debugging, debugging of border, one pixel, solid. Red. Aha, okay. That helps. Class name, styles. Yeah, I, I knew I thought that would work. Info container. What did I do with the border? <laughs> I did something crazy there. Um, uh, grow will work, but it depends on develop space. Yeah, exactly. But right now I just screwed this up because I did something in here. Info container. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I don't need that. Let's grow. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. Something dot input have I put in oh I haven't given this a class name of dot input either. So slightly better. Slightly, I love the way I say it, slightly better. Um, what I can do is flat. I can say display flex. And there, that will be better. And my button styles. I'm gonna remove that for a second, see what happens. That's better. So then we need to add the glassy styles to this so I'm going to say on the no they were in the wrong file so what we'll say import we're going to say background what happens if I remove this actually oh, we'll just background background Going to be an orgy the A and we'll do it light. So we'll say 255, 255, 255, and then we'll say a uh, point three just to see where we're at. Okay, that's slightly better. Nice, okay. 
border radius is going to be 50%, 0050%. Oh no, it's not. It's um, 25, is it? What percent do you use on that to get it right? We'll find out in a second. Nah, I'm just way off on that. So 55, it is going to be 50 pixels. What does that look like? Nice. Okay, that's more appropriate. So what we then need is, I guess we need the backdrop filter, which is the blur stuff. We'll put this down to two, I think. And we'll say, um, it's a backdrop filter. There is a backdrop filter, I think I can use. I just want to practice this backdrop filter of blur. And how much do you say? I think this takes a direction. I might have to search this up in a second. I'm not going to change anything until there's something behind it. Um, that's just helped me think of the glass, glass morphism in a minute. I'll probably move something under it in a second to make sure it works as expected. So the border then. Solid, solid. Let's get rid of this red. I don't need that anymore. Nice. Sleep with CSS gradients tonight. Um, that's that's a sad, sad state of dreams, isn't it, Praveen? That that's what you're uh, you're going to be having. In fairness, and oh, nice scroll will work. Depends on the available space. Yeah. So I think I figured that out. Thankfully, I'm surprised I did. To be honest, and outline instead of border. Outline is always useful, actually, as well. I, I always forget that until after. Outline is always such a nice little property to have. Right now, it's highlighting a bit pink. So what I need to do then on the import, the import is, say, padding left of maybe 20 pixels. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And font size of our T. Okay. Nice. Okay, we're getting places. We're gonna. I'm gonna change this. What an odd dream, Anthony, to be fair. <laughs> so you are dreaming of the a new programming language called LLHV. What does that stand for? It's probably, it could be created by next week. You never know. Yeah, that's true. That is for sure. Could be working with C errors. Okay, so... What we want to do then is, if that, we have that. I'm just going to add a margin top of 40 pixels for a moment. That's my design look actually on that.
probably about 50 pixels actually. Okay, so we have that. Uh, we need the text color to be white then as well. Um, I don't think it's suitable for YouTube, Paul, so don't tell us. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. This is meant to be down here. Nice. And in the intro, it's actually a type equals Yeah, it'll be, can I get demonetized from guests? Let's see. I'm not sure. I don't really make, I make a few pennies off this, so I, it'll probably be worth it, in fairness. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, so we have that, we have that. Let's get a grid in place here now. I'm going to do a simple grid like this for the moment because... This is outrageous, really. I'll have to use a plug, an extension or something, or build something to do this, or find something that does this, because that's just outrageous. But not to worry, we will figure it out. Where are we at on this? The intro is there. That's that there. Yeah, I don't know um, what water shed means, so maybe you have to explain that before you explain your dreams to us. <laughs> ah, Stefan, you made it. How's it going? Okay, so what we'll do, what time are we at? Ah, we have another 50 minutes of flows time around some more things here so what i'm going to do now is create a new section we'll call this highlights and we'll say new file highlights dot js file highlights dot module dot css Import styles from and we'll say export made it through the week. Yeah, I, well, I haven't made it through it yet. I still have some work to do probably tomorrow or that just to catch up had a crazy week this week it's just hard to i'm getting used to a new routine new job as is really taking its toll on me to be fair because i'm still getting used to a new routine so good fun that in just to make sure I guess things actually Alkis how's it going how do you know how to get the chanter out your gear I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. The meaning, the question, whatever else. 
Anyway. Uh, highlights from highlights slide slash highlights Ah, yes, the wee do do, do solace kinchins. Ah, oh, my favorite. No idea. I think just. I have. I have absolutely no idea what this means. <laughs> but I love it anyway. <laughs> oh, you gotta love the internet. Okay, so in our index, yes. Or no, it's in our. It's, where is our pages? Oh, yeah. Highlights are there, so we should see. Yeah, we see it down here. This is kind of probably the perfect width. Because so I want to always show the cards as we do these things. So actually, what I want to do before the last one is... In the intro... Um... That input container is I think so, Stefan. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice yeah i should have another post up on hash note tomorrow i have loads of stuff going up there so i'm still working away with it it's been good fun i like hash note it's such a nice community there um i will be hopefully having this as a central store for all my stuff and then cross posting to the likes of hash node it's definitely an awesome place so let's See and here, I think we have a container class as such. So we'll in the highlights, we're going to have a section. Since Stefan's here, I am conscious to not screw it up with the semantics here. Nice, I'm so happy with that. That's one of my first things I've done on YouTube way back now. So I'm, I think it's coming up another couple months, I'll be a year on YouTube now. So all by accident, it's start of COVID really just forced me to get on here. Hash no better than Devon. I wouldn't say better, different. It's slightly different. It's a different style of community. I think there's more questions and random comments and forms on Dev, whereas Hashnode lets you kind of link your own blog and people find your blog, so your URL. So I could have knowledgeomar.com and that would go to my Hashnode, which is very useful if you're just not bothered building a blog like I am right now. So it is, it's a different style, but it's very cool. I think the both of them do what they do very well. Uh, I am going to say class name is equal to 
Nope. Styles. Dot grid. And we can then in the highlights say dot grid is going to have a display grid and a grid template columns yeah I find I'm gonna put your comment up now Stefan because this is something that bothers me a little bit is I find it really hard to find my drafts. I'm still learning where to find my drafts and things. So I end up actually using Medium as my drafts. I'm converting it to Markdown. It's actually just crazy at the moment how I plan everything. Hence why I'm like, I need somewhere to write this stuff. So I'm going to use this. UI on Hashnode is very shiny though, in fairness. And we'll say, what kind of gaps are on this? 30 and we can then say gap of 30 pixels 30 pixels grid div is going to be height 100 pixels with 100 pixels um, border, one pixel solid uh, var white. Mm hmm. Okay. So. Width is going to be 100% then. Yeah, that's better to a certain extent. Oh, I have an overflow here now. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, I need to put an overflow hidden because of that ball here. So you can link your domain directly to Hashnode. So you can set your DNS up so it actually goes to hash node. So instead of say having a WordPress site, you just have a hash node site. So I find that much nicer. Uh, how long will it take? So Jay, in fairness, I was talking to Jay before this. Jay is doing loads of YouTube videos and egghead videos as we speak. So he will probably be back on next week because I'll have so much more fun next week wiring up some things. So we'll definitely have some fun. And we are hopefully working on some projects offside with some plans in place. We will get there. Don't you worry. Um, let's see. I think I have this in a... Where am I? Container. Content max width. So. <laughs> ah, Jay, you don't need to call me out like that. Look, you're getting your, you're getting your uh, toxicity out of you now because you don't have somewhere to scream at people on Twitter now. So you're just like, oh, do you know what? Screw this guy. <laughs> Deadly. I swear that you just hear when I mention your name. So, that's so funny. Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh no, that's the wrong place for this. It's here I wanted that. 
That is, that sounds dangerous, or at least that it could be dangerous. So, I'd say everyone will be looking out to see what that means now. What I am interested in doing now is just adding, What I will do eventually as well is kind of animate these kind of gradients that are moving around a little bit. It'll be awesome then as well. So let's, maybe I need a div with a grid. Yeah, so I can center, center everything. You want a canvas under. What do you mean by that? I want a canvas on that with the SVG filter. I am so bad with uh, the um, with the canvas element. It's something I've never really used. So I'm always very nervous to use it in case I absolutely destroy everything by using the canvas element. Hmm, yeah. No, I get you. That'll make more sense. Yeah, if I'm going to move around, probably a canvas will probably be better. I've never actually used the uh, blurry kind of effects that I'm doing now. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's great. Like I said, you drop in people's streams, you always learn little bits and pieces. It's, uh, it's a nice... Uh, have I done something wrong here? Justify content. Huh. I am definitely going to right now because it's what I know and then I'm going to find out afterwards why the performance is awful on us. Um, why is... Am I crazy for thinking there is a justify content center on this, isn't it? Why doesn't that work? Hmm. Justify the grid. Look at these lads. They're copying. Nah, I've absolutely seen this and I loved it. That's why I copied them. Uh, grid, grid. Justify. Place item center. Well, I've never seen that place. That's not doing it. Hmm. Did they uh, steal your waves, Jay? I'm glad I would never steal anything from you like that. That is shameless. That is shameless. No, in fairness, I did have wave designs for a while. Oh, look, look at this. This is the perfect man for a job now. I um I thought there was a justified content for the, actually you know what's probably happening my grid probably isn't no yeah wait is hundred percent I'm trying to uh 
Uh, I am trying to do that. That's. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Let me just see something. So, with 100%, does that change anything? No. I'm trying to justify the content. Center, so my elements are center, Kevin. Just for items, align items. Yeah, align items. Actually, that might work. Ah, uh, don't say that, Jay. Jay, don't don't say that. You have too much energy, Jay. Since um, you got off Twitter. Uh, yeah, so the grid is... The grid... Oh, okay, so I just need to go margin. Zero auto. Boom. Yeah, that was uh, just because of the max width on the container, because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Burgers have been burnt. Uh, burnt. Um, yeah, nobody's surprised people are arguing with me on these things. I bet nobody is surprised. So let's take that. Um, what is my design look like now? So let's, just because we'll need it in a second. Third. Grid is the four. Actually, I'm going to copy the pro modules. No, that's not it. There we go. Oh yeah, sure, minus 17. It's going to be right is going to be we'll say 40% for the moment. And hopefully not over. I hate using Z index. But it works. Um This is not what I want here. So what I want is a linear gradient, or pink, orange. And border radius of 50%. Nice. And that is so when I have the solid pieces here that we'll see the glass morphism hopefully work I guess uh, right we'll say 30% maybe yeah that's enough that'll pop out from under and everything I feel like it's a cold smell if I use margins so I have Jay and Kevin to answer this I hopefully maybe in the chat if there is 
Is it still bad? I, I, I suppose I learned all this in a time where it was the only way to do it. Is it still bad to use margin? Uh, zero auto to center things? Or should I have like flexed the whole thing? Or should I have made it flow a little bit differently? I'm guessing this is just because of the elements. Do I have sized them? Have really destroyed things a little? Or J. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay. I just I was just having fun. I'll continue to steal from you forever, don't you worry. Nice. Okay. So auto margins are the best. Okay, cool. Okay, so then what do we have to do? We're going to have to fix this. Let's make this kind of blurry madness stuff. So what size do we have them? What border radius is on those elements? 20 pixels. Background is going to be, I think I had this in the intro, so I'm going to steal all this new intro. This should definitely be um, This should definitely be uh, variables because of the state of what I'm about to do. Just copy and pasting things. Uh, border, just border radius, we don't need that. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so I have some blur now. Overlaid SVG filter. Okay, let me, I, what I'm going to do now, because I will forget that as soon as I leave. Overlaid SVG filter. Right, that's what I'm going to go and figure out. Because I need to figure out how to do that. I've never actually done one of these glass morphism style things before anyway. So for me, this is a bit mad anyway to do it. Like just the look of it. Let's get another section here. like to put a comment there so we can see things. Yeah, you need to... Um, yeah, th there's so much to learn all the time. <laughs> but yeah, th that's, a, that's a very useful tick, uh, trick to know. So... So if things are moving, the SVG filter will then react better because it's not, I suppose, CSS properties trying to recalculate as things move. Is that how it works? I guess because it's trying to do the backdrop filter as things move through it. So it'll probably make the GPU blow up or does it even use the GPU when it's doing this? Uh, posts. Uh, 
hmm, I might try test that out. I said I've never. It wasn't until I uh, was talking with my designer yesterday that I even thought of doing glass morphism. I've seen it popping up, so I've never tried it. So I thought, you know what? I haven't done it. Let's try it. Nice. Uh, okay, so what we want to do then is we want to go to get to posts. This would be a great way. What time are we at? Yeah, I have 20 minutes. If I can get the posts in now, it'd be a good start. So in my pages, um, we'll say all posts. Or posts equal all posts, and then I should be able to go into my highlights. So this posts dot map. Item Night Paul, thanks for coming in. It's always be a pleasure getting abused by you. I appreciate it. I'll see you next week. Nice. Okay, so I have the information coming through. What I'm going to do here as well is just at the top here because I don't remember what's in the post. So let's console dot log. Title date. Okay, we have to have the date form rather from here, don't I? I do have a date form rather thing, so I can bring that in and that'll take the date string. So what we will do is Import that date formatter. I'll need to pull that into its own uh, component then after. Oh no, I'm in the wrong place here altogether. It's in the intro. So we want to be in the highlights. I'll have to have a H2 in there as well in a second because it's going to cry um a formatter a string equals item dot date
Nice. Okay, so we have that. We can now remove some of the height on this. Nice. Okay. Ah, the line height here is throwing this off, or I must have something on it, but I'll play with that after. Once I have these things kind of wired up, I will be happy. Ish, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so we have this, this, this. What are we missing now? The excerpt. We don't even need to read more. We'll, um... Excerpt. or I don't know why this is a difficult one to spell for me but it is what it is okay so now we have the experts there let's see what's going on with yeah I need to get rid of the margin tops on them but I think that looks pretty solid all the same right now and I'm probably just going to do that again for the moment just because I want to see it again how that looks Kevin, thank you for jumping in. It's great to see you. Stefan. And we can have fights. I guess because they're spelled differently, we won't fight too much. I was going to say we'll have to do a Highlander. Thanks for dropping in. Appreciate it. Great to see you here. I need a much more major blur on those uh, highlights, I think, as well. Let's rock it up. Yeah, that's too much. 14. Yeah, it looks better. Looks a bit crazier now. I like that. I had a, another Mar join the Discord today, so that was what fun. It was, he was just like a few Mars. So I was just trying to convince people, you know, we should all have the same name instead. All right. So where have I gotten to? Let's add in some... I'm going to add in another pink thingy here. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I always forget. I always mess these things up. Uh, da -da -da. Where is my ball gone? Actually, if I change that to bottom. Nice. Okay, that's better. I like that. Okay. So... Oh, okay, so I know why that's doing that. Then. I don't need this at all. This is because... The console is open, isn't it? No. I don't need this. Zero auto. Send me a message, Stefan, as well. I'd love to jump in and see what you're doing. I'd happily jump on as well to you streaming. I'd happily jump in. We haven't chatted in ages. It's actually... Must be at least eight, nine months ago before we had a chat. So you, you better bring me on soon for some streams with you. It'd be great crack. Okay, that looks a bit better. Um, this has gone haywire, so I'm going to say bottom pixels. Okay, enjoy. Stream Beats. Jay put me onto this, in fairness, because I got copyright striked the first time I streamed. I did like a four hour stream and it got taken down because I had songs in it that I thought were royalty free because I, I, I looked for a royalty free playlist and apparently it wasn't royalty free. So it was heartbreaking. Okay, so now we have that. Let's see, where do we have? So what do we need? We need, let's see if we can get this wired up and then I might call it a night. So we have the slug, where is my slug? We have slug, slug. Okay, so what we need to do is go into highlights, import, what is the name of it? Import, I like to put all these ones. Import link 
from next link and then down here we can just wrap instead of the this we're gonna say link link we don't do we have to do the as anymore we just put the href i don't think we have to do the as anymore i think that's the new update so i think we have to just go href equals or is it like posts i'm gonna have to refresh myself on this but i'm pretty sure it's your let me Google this now because I'm going to get lost on this. Uh, link tag next.js. Actually, hold on. Let me bring that over here because you can see what I'm looking at. Link tag next.js. I know they've updated things recently. href slug. Log encode your i. There's nothing special dynamic root. Catch all roots. Okay, so let's take this. Because they used to have the as, and it's posts I have my things in, and it's item. That's log. Ah, yeah. And then you have to wrap everything in an anchor or else it won't work. Now I have to remove the link styles. Uh, oh, yes. That is the fun in these link tags. So we'll say area, or is the area label? Just so semantic. And it's, I'll also say item the title for this. Ruined everything. Look at this. Ruined everything. So what I'm going to do, because there's not going to be too many links on this, I'm going to go and find my A. Let's get this. What do I want to do? Um, uh, no, actually, I'm thinking here in the highlights, I have divs, it should be A. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't even know what happened there. But look, that looks pretty slick uh, for no reason at all. Uh, that was accidental. And we'll say text decoration none. Uh, 
transition is all let's try this no on face Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Oh, I like that. That's pretty slick. So if I click that now, does it bring me to the right place? Nice. Okay, so this brings me to a post, which is great. So I need to play around with that the next day. That's excellent. Okay, so let's... What I'm going to do then is in my highlights of JS. Let's just do that twice for the moment. I like that kind of opacity changing there. That's pretty slick in a sense. Nice. Cool. That's okay with me for sure. Now what I want to do is inspect looks phenomenal on this so what I want to do is start adding some media queries in so da -da -da, where's my media screen min width let's have a look how would I fix this But I, uh, no, do you know what? I'm going to keep doing this for a second. I'll do. What we'll say is the Nice, okay. This is going to have to have Or if I just want to be really cheeky about it, actually, this is probably the easiest way to say that. We'll just say 1F4 by default.
Okay, that's slightly better now, so we can we have a responsive-ish look. So what do we have to do now is, because something is missing, what did I screw up here? Ah, the margin auto is gone again. Uh, margin, your auto. Hmm, interesting. So I'm just trying to get this to work as expected. No, go back. We don't want to go into that route yet. I am guessing that's because of the overflow more than anything. Yeah, so I need to go into the intro JS, intro CSS. Um, Overflow hidden. That might hit work it, will it? Hmm. Interesting. So that is the page. This is going out there after. It's causing some problems because there's this black bar. So if I say, say right zero, Then suddenly it works. That's the overflow is ruining that. Not to worry. I'll figure that out after. And we'll see. Nice. Okay, so that's working a little bit better now. So I can say Z and X minus one, Z and X minus one. I should make those balls into little components nearly. Um, and then for the intro, make it a little bit more Okay, so we're going to say margin is going to be 0, 40 pixels for the moment. No, I need to make that kind of a width of 100%. I'll worry about that next day, but it is starting to come across nicely. We're starting to get to where we want it to be somewhat responsive so next one we will work on getting some navigation in a footer in 
some links. We're going to hook this up to ConvertKit so I can start actually taking uh, emails for addresses and I'll have to probably use some Next.js APIs to send that from my backend, which will be cool as well. I will get this online over the next day. So I will leave a link in the description. So if you're interested in you know, taking the code or whatever else, I will leave the repo up on my GitHub. And on till the next one, I think we're good. Is anyone, if anyone has any questions, I'll stick around for a few minutes. If not, I'm going to go off and have my dinner. Great. Okay, until the next one, everyone. You have a good one. And hold on, I can make myself bigger here. Until the next one. Happy coding. See you later.